excited today. Welcome to another episode of Learning About You. We are at Jefferson High School, home of the Jayhawks. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this, look at this school pride. You wanna talk about school pride? That's Jayhawk pride right there. I mean, look at the, look at these accolades. Wow, we're talking wrestling. We're talking football. We're talking girls and boys basketball. Lots and lots of pride here at Jefferson High School. This is Jayhawk country. And you know what? There's some other things that are really, really cool here that I'm excited to see today. One being Principal Don Rundle. I hear he is one of the best principals in Rockford Public Schools. In addition to the art program right here at Jefferson, one of the best art programs in, in the state in the city. Um, the high school academies are coming here to Jefferson. Hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to some, some freshmen and some teachers about what's going on with the academies and then the LIMI program, which I hear is outstanding. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. First high school, Jefferson Jayhawks. Let's go check it out. Let's do it, baby. I'm excited today. You know, we're doing a high school, Jefferson High School, Jayhawk power, baby. So. We're about to meet the principal, you know? Um, this guy is a legend in his own right. You know, they're, they're the great Don Rundle. I wanna say he is the longest tenured high school principal we have in the district. Really great guy, uh, does an awesome job here at Jefferson. And uh, I'm excited to, to talk to him and get him, get him on the show. Let's go check him out. Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, the great Don Rundle. How you doing, man? I'm great. I'm great. Welcome to Jefferson. Thank you very much, man. So, you know, already, man, I'm just like, you know, we're coming in here. I'm like, we're at high school. I'm getting a little bit of the high school feel. Yep. So just, just uh, it, what, tell me a little bit first about uh, what are we going to see today? Some things um, you got. Well, we're, we're going to go to a couple art classes. Um, we're, we're very well known for our artists here at Jefferson. Um, we're also going to go into a few of our... Uh, uh, special education courses. Uh, we, we house the, the MI um, section here. Uh, then we have the academy, which is the freshman academy, which all schools are going to go to uh, the career academies and career clusters. And uh, we piloted th this year with the freshmen. And actually, we're in the midst of, in the next month, having everybody pick what academy they're going to go to. And then next year, we'll start wall to wall. Awesome. So, you know, part of the show, man, you know, we, we talk to principals in different shows, but you know, it's something about a high school principal, you know, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's, 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 it's different, you know, you, you, it's kind of like you're in the big leagues, man, you know, it's a, what's, what's a typical kinda day? Kind of like the show. Like yeah, the show, man, yeah, you know? yeah, you know, you got, it's a different group, you know, it's exactly. a little bit different group. So like a, a typical day, you know, we, we caught you, you know, you're at your desk, I, you know, I know you, you're busy, you run all day, but you know, just, just an idea, what, what's a, what's a typical day um, like for a high school principal? Well, I, I don't know if we have a typical day, <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, getting out, making sure the kids see us is, is a huge part. Um, we got 1,800 kids, uh, you know, and, and you can quickly tell um, how the day is going to go just by the, the feel when you walk out in the hallway. Um, so we want to make sure that we're visible. Um, you know, we're, 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 we're doing academic checks, academic rounds, instructional rounds. We go into classes, sit down, make sure things are going the way they should. Um, you know, problem solving, uh, mentoring. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there, there's the discipline part of it, which, you know, knock on wood, we're doing less of this year, which is great. Um, but it's just exciting. You, you get to see young minds. I, I always say I love to watch when the light goes on. You know, that's awesome. One last thing before we, I know you're going to show us around, show us some really, really cool. I just one last question, though. You know, before I came in, I was talking about how I believe you are the longest tenured high school principal in the district. And you've been here. For how, how long, right here? This is my fifth year as the principal at Jefferson, and I did two years prior to that as the assistant principal. So you've been at, you've been at Jefferson for a while. So, so last question, Don, seriously. What is it about Jefferson, man, that, that really, that obviously there's something that keeps your fire burning. What is it about Jefferson that, that gets you pumped up? It's the kids. It's the kids. I love coming to work. Um, it was kind of nice because I was at Flynn before as the principal, and coming to Jefferson, I had already had a lot of the kids. So there was already that connection with the parents and the kids, but then I also had the connection with a lot of the teachers who were here when I was here prior. So um, I think we got wonderful teachers. Um, parents are great, but it, you know, bottom line, it comes down to the kids. You come because um, you, you know you're needed, um, you know you're respected. That's the big thing. And, and I think the kids know that, that we respect them. So cool. Wonderful environment. You know what? We love the kids, man. We you know what I'm saying? Kids. We love the kids, for real. That's why we do it. It's for the kids. All right. All right. So we're going to see some good stuff here today. We're, we're going to. All right, man. I'm excited. Thank you for having right, us, well, man. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you for appreciate having it. us. We really appreciate it. All right. It. Looking Thanks forward for to it. All right. Let's go. All right. So we're about to meet some people here at Jefferson. And uh, I'm excited. We're about to get the tour. 
Principal Don Rundle. Take it away, sir. Uh, well, you know. Oh, well, I, oh, I appreciate it. All right, so when you come to Jefferson, you walk in the main office. There's two people you're going to see right off the bat. One is we have Mary who over here, who Mary greets everybody as they come in the door and then kind of directs where they need to go. And then you got over here is, is the, the general of the office, runs the show, Araceli, and uh, pretty much everything goes through Araceli. So, you know what, let me, you know what, it's because since the show is, is learning about you, let's, let's talk to Araceli. <laughs> you know what, Araceli, you're not just going to get away that easily. How are you? Darn. How are you doing today? I am well, thank you. So, Araceli, yeah, you can stand up, sure. Go ahead. So, tell, tell us a little bit about, tell us about, about yourself. Well, um, I've been in the district for many years. Um, I started in the district when I, fresh out of high school, so um, I was 19, and I started as a paraprofessional, uh, slowly you know, built my role and I uh, ended up here at Jefferson and I've been here almost six years. Yeah. So what do you like about what do you like about what you do? I, you know, every day is a new day. So I can't say that today will be the same as yesterday or the day before. Every day is a new day. And that is what makes Jefferson special. You know what? This is another learning about you moment because, you know, this is what I love about, you know, our live when we do it live. So I'm looking over here, just meeting Araceli, right? I see. Is that your husband? That is. <laughs> That's my, that's my man's, Antonio. Ah, oh, hey, look, look, everyone. Araceli is married to Antonio. That's my man. Wow. How can he be my man if I've never, you know, I've never met you. I'm gonna you get know, you for that, Antonio. I'm gonna get you for that. I don't display that too often. <laughs> that's why it's hidden back there. I mean, it's collecting dogs. Oh, wow, wow. That is him. It is an honor. The, the pleasure is all right. mine. Thank, Thank you. you for very much. Please right. tell me you tell me you met me. I <laughs> Earl sure will. Well. All right. Sure all right. Awesome. Let's go. We're gonna turn. <laughs> we're we're going back the, down, down the hallway to the student office. We're all right. Come on down to the student office. All right. Down the down the hallway to the student office. You know this looks this looks kind of quiet and bare for early in the morning here. We don't let anybody come back here. Um, the kids have to go out and around. As you see, um, what we're doing is, unfortunately, we have, have discipline. Uh, they have to come back with a parent. Um, so we meet with all the parents. Um, when they come back from the suspension, we talk about um, behavior. We talk about academics. What can we do to help them? Unfortunately, a lot of the behavior all of a sudden is in the classroom. Then the academics go down. Uh, we talk about tutoring opportunities um, and just an opportunity to contact with a parent and uh, see what we can do to help them help their, their student. You know that, that that's awesome. Uh, it's good to hear that. So, how does that you know that process? How does that kind of help the environment of your building? I mean, what, what does that do for you? As, well, a, as a, it, I think it connects us all. Um, you know. A lot of parents have to have to not go to work to bring their student back to school, um, and I think that shows the student too that that there there is a connection between school and home, and that's very important. And you know, a lot of these parents we're, we're meeting for the first time, like freshmen, sophomore parents that we haven't seen a lot. So um, we get them into the building. We always tell people once we get you in here, we can hook you. So we just need to get you in here. And unfortunately, it's it's not for a positive reason, but it turns out to be positive because then we, we we've gained that relationship with the parent. So so is this something you've been doing for a while? Just something that you have this? Yes, we uh, we we start to this last year and uh and, and it's really working for us awesome all right so we got some and so you know we, we don't you know we don't want to embarrass you know we but we, we don't want to embarrass them you know you didn't come in like oh, yeah, she's, you gotta meet the parents but you know hey it's good to know uh that stuff that happens and that is happening in our high schools i think that's very very important i think that's good for for our people to know is that um there are those uh, you know we hate to say interventions but there are things going on but we but, need the interventions we definitely do and uh and we like we said this is a positive intervention we get the parents in here um able to not only talk about their student but but what what possibilities there are for their student in the future um, a, a big talk is oh you know we do have a dual credit thing at Rock Valley that a lot of the parents don't have a clue that we have that sure, sure. so we're able to get in get them the information we know we send out newsletters and stuff but nothing can be the face-to-face -face conversation hey y'all you heard it right here see this is why he's a man you know right here the one and only Don Rundle all right, all right so we're doing our tour you know high school hey we're in high school we're in the, we, we in the big league big Vince we've hit it big high school baby Uh-oh. So, real live intervention right here going on. You know, Don Rundle, student just came right up to him, and, um, you know, there's an issue. And that's what a good principal does. He takes care of it, right? Ah. Hey, I'm going to date myself one more time, Vince. Anybody remember Happy Days? The Fines? Let me see if I can try a Fines trick. Hey.
Hey. Guess I'm not the fines. All right. All right. We're gonna we found out we got our principal back. Don, Don, you missed it, man. You, I'm gonna see if I can date you too. You remember, you remember Happy Days, the Fonz. You remember this? Hey, no. <laughs> it didn't work for me, man. I tried it twice. All right, go ahead and walk this way. Let's do it. Good morning. Good morning. So this is one of our advanced art rooms. Um, so uh, um, we have advanced art. We have, you know, obviously go to fundamental, intermediate, advanced, and then AP art um, and senior portfolio. But this is one of our advanced art. So there'll be juniors or seniors in here. Um, and uh, actually, before we leave, I'll show you a, an area that um, Mrs. Stockton, our teacher, won the Golden Apple Grant and uh, what they're going to do. And actually, they might talk a little about what they're going to do. But it, it's exciting. We're going to have a ribbon cutting here next Thursday on the 20th. So. Come on. You know, one of the things that are really quick about the art, um, they, uh, the State of the District Schools Address, I think yes. you were there, uh, Dr. Willis, Dr. Jared, they had Jefferson Art on display there. And, and that, that's kind of one of the staples. Uh, even, even in the old um, administration building uh, on Madison, there was always Jefferson Art displayed. So I'm excited to meet some of the artists themselves who create some of the most beautiful, wonderful art I've ever seen. So it, it, it is outstanding. So. So. I'll let you go around, All right. talk to whoever you want. All right, let's go check out some art, man. Let's go see. Wow, look at the art room itself. You know, look at this. You know, I, I think if you if you watch our show, you see I'm always in awe of art and people who are artists. Because as I say, I have no, I don't have the creativity like that. But let's go see if we can talk to somebody. Let's find the teacher first. Yes, there she is. Aha. Hello there. How are you? Good. I'm Lynn Stockton. Lynn, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Lynn Stockton. We've heard a lot about you. So um, tell us a little bit about you know what's going on in your class and uh, what, what's, uh, what's a typical morning class like this with your students? Uh, this is advanced art. So this is a third year class. And right now they're working on scratch boards. So they're working on details. Absolute precision. Um, we just did some abstract expression pieces where they threw paint. And now they're working with a, a tool that's about the size of a needle. So we kind of changed the pace a little bit to get them to be a little expressive, a little bit more controlled. But this is all about skill and about drawing. And so these are third year kids and they're about to head towards senior portfolio or AP studio art and start developing portfolios for college. Outstanding. So tell us a little bit about, obviously there's been a, a culture created here in terms of um, being renowned for the art here. Um, what, what is it about Jefferson and what is it about, you know, being known uh, for being top of the line artists? Is there, is there some type of... Um, Secret? Se yes, what's the secret? The secret's work ethic. <laughs> That's it. I always say we don't teach art here, we teach work ethic. And really it's about getting kids to be invested in putting time in to be great. And um, teaching them skills and then being able to combine skills with that sense of wanting to express themselves. And then being able to have the ability to do it and then building on it. And each year the kids look what the kids did last year and then they, they, they actually rise to the occasion and try to surpass. So it's, it's a program where we're sequenced. All four teachers work together to build, you know, a sequence of classes where the kids are really learning and getting up to a really high level. And, and we have the biggest AP studio art program in Northern Illinois and successful kids getting scholarships and um, thriving, thriving, 100% AP scores. Um, really excited about the things that happen here, but they're hard workers and, and they enjoy, I think they enjoy working hard, so that's the, that's the idea. What I tell you guys about the teachers in our district, see her energy, you feel it? See, I feel it, it makes me, I even want to draw something and I can't draw anything. So is there, is there, is there one in particular, can we, we, may we look at uh, one of the students or something uh, to see kind of some of the art, some of the stuff? Mr. Rundle's holding this up because next week we have an art opening in our, um, an installation work of art that's going up um, that was kind of sponsored by a grant that I wrote through the Golden Apple Corporation or Foundation in Rockford. And so it's about identity and about diversity and about education and opening, you know, walking in with an open mind and being able to see things clearly. So we're transforming entrance A by putting work on the stairs, putting work on the wall. It's, it's an installation. We're kind of changing. We're asking people to think when they walk in the building. And there will be 120 images on the stair. The, like the vertical fronts of the stairs and they're all Jefferson students. So it's about, about being kind of confronted with 
what this school's about and the community here. And the, uh, the, there's 28 uh, senior art students, well not senior AP art students that are participating in making this, this work of art. So yeah. So is it okay if we talk to a couple students? Absolutely. All right, let's see. Um, Seth, why don't you get, Seth is done, his work is put away, but they're all kind of in process. Who's Seth? <laughs> Seth. How you doing, Seth? My name is Mr. Dotson, Chief of Communications. So, you know, um, this is some of your work right here. So, um, t uh, tell us a little bit about, um, first of all, tell us a little bit about Seth. You're, are you a third year art student? Um, actually, I came from alternative schools, and when I came, I showed Miss Stockton some of my drawings, and she just jumped me into intermediate, so I was able to get a. So, I've only been in this art program for two years, and I'm in advanced art, so it's kind of cool. That I it's a credit to you, Seth. Congratulations, man. That's outstanding, man. Um, so tell us a little bit about this piece right here. What, you, what do you got here? What I did, we took uh, uncopyrighted images, and we um, made a composition on tracing paper. And that's my composition that I made. And then I took a ballpoint pen, and I got the image, well, the outline on there. And then uh, I looked at a... Um, a picture of this kangaroo rat and I did the fur with the scratch board tool. Nice. So, so is, is, um, I'm, what's your favorite class? Art. <laughs> Art. So what is it about um, um, this class and the, the culture here in, this, in, in Jefferson um, that really makes people excel and do really well uh, in art? Uh, I think it's pretty much a lot of Miss Stockton because she's been in this art program for years and years and years and years, you know. So she's got more experience than all the rest of our teachers in this program. She's familiar with all the kids and she's familiar with the school, the way we act and stuff like that, you know. Awesome. I think you're right. I'm going to agree with you. Thanks, man. Thanks for talking to us. Good luck to you. All right. Who else can we talk to? Wow. You know what? These, these kids are very serious. Wow. You know what? That, that's good, though. That, that, means they, that means they take their work very seriously. All right, here's Miss Stockton here in action. <laughs> Anthony, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you? Doing? All right, I'm doing very well. Mr. Dotson is my name. So, what was Miss Stockton? What was she just talking about right here? Uh, she was just telling me like how to get this contrast down right here from the lights to the dark, cause it's dark right here, and how to like transition like that right there. It's kind of dark into the light. So, yeah. So tell me, what is it? What is it you like about her, man? I just like. I just like, it's art. It's just, I can express myself through anything and like do what I want to do. Sometimes like when people tell me to do things that they want me to do, I can't. Cause it's like, it's what they want, not what I want. So. So it's a form of creative expression and freedom. You feel free. Wow. So how, how, Ms. Stockton, she's you, she, you learned a lot from her? Yeah, I actually learned a lot from her from like, cause last year I only took one year of art. I was an intermediate and then they moved me up and it's only like my second year of art. So it's like, I feel like I'm good at it. So long term, though, what, you know, what do you want to do long term in terms? Of you got plans until you want to do. We're gonna go to. What do you want to do? Art school? I mean, is this something you want to turn into a career? Uh, no, it ain't. It's just like a hobby I have right now. But like, it probably could. It probably. I don't know. You never know. You never know. Hey, thanks for talking to us, man. Good luck to you, bro. All right, man. All right. This is. <laughs> ah. Hold on. Let's talk to Selena. How you doing, Selena? Hi, how are you? Selena, I'm Mr. Dotson. We do a show called Learning About You. We put on Channel 20. So, um, what's your name? Selena. Selena, and so what grade are you in? I'm senior. You're a senior. So tell us a little bit about um, uh, um, this class and how you've come up in, in, in the art rank. Work, I don't know. We take a lot of time to do it. It's interesting because it's different. So we take a lot of different types of projects, tasks on. Um, I like it. It's fun. Yeah, so um, what, what do, you, do you plan on doing long term, doing something with art? Not long term, but I mean, it's fun just to do my like side time. Wow, that's you know that's cool. You know, you guys both kind of said the same thing. It just shows you're you're talented and is creative, and you can do a lot of different things. Cool. So, um, Jefferson, you like Jefferson? How you like school? Um, yeah, I like it. It's just another high school. <laughs> it's another high school. Well, thanks for talking to us. Good luck to you. Pleasure. All right, we out. Bye, everybody. So, wow, that is a mature group right there, Don. I've, I've pretty much seen a lot of these kids grow up. Um, I was at Nashville for only one year as a principal there, and a lot of those kids went to Nashville, so I saw them in the fifth grade. I then went to, to Flynn as the principal, and 
they followed right over to Flynn and uh, I came here so there, there's a strong connection a lot of these seniors I've, I've known since the fifth grade so you know come, wow. come June when it's time to graduate it's gonna be kind of hard because I, I've been with them for seven eight years wow wow so Anthony the one hell in the blue that's so you've been knowing him since well, I've known him since he was a fifth grade student yeah national and he uh, he actually has has just decided that he's gonna go into the service yes. um, we've been we've been talking with the recruiter and um, uh, he, he told me probably about a week ago that, that that's what he's going to do. So a week after graduation, he already knows when he's when he's uh, shipping to boot camp. So, um, which is great. And uh, you know, for him, he did that so he could could go to school later on. Um, but wonderful young man. You know what? That's you know that's that's touching. That touches me right here in the heart because that's exactly what I did. You know what? I'm gonna have to go back there and talk to Anthony, man, about making that choice to join the military. And you're right, man. You know that's a that's a very smart way of looking at it. Uh, and that's exactly what I did. Allow the, the opportunity to go to school later on. So that's cool. Definitely. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hike up to the third floor. Let's do it. Is there, is there an elevator in this building, man? There is, but you have to have an elevator key to get oh. up. <laughs> All right, man, third floor, you know, hike the steps. This is a good thing though, right? Active. So what we have up here is, um, you know, when Dr. Jared came in and, uh, doc and, and Matt Bosberg and, and Dr. Willis, um, this is what he challenged us. You know, the, we say it's the four questions. Every lesson plan, every uh, syllabus has to relate to the four questions. What is it we want students to learn? How will we know if each student has it learned? How will we respond when some students don't learn it? And then the fourth one is sometimes people forget how can we extend and enrich the learning for students who already have learned it? Mm. What, what can we do to, to bring them up? So um, the lesson plan format that the teachers turn in weekly have to answer these questions. So, and we have one of these in every stairway. We want, we, we want everybody to know this is what we're doing here at Jefferson. That's a, I love that process because you kind of you you make sure you encompass you get everyone because you know this group here we often forget about that you know they're the ones that that uh, uh, they they get bored and so you got to take that learning and, and and enhance it so that's awesome and you get to, and you got those um those things where kids can um you have a, you have an idea of, of of a process of what you want to do that's awesome man we got the debate flyers up because you know we have the the debate's going to be held here the truth talk debate will be held here at Jefferson so we we got to represent if it's our home home auditorium you know what I'm glad you brought that up because that's going to be a good thing the a truth talks debates February that's a great thing my fraternity Phi Beta Sigma puts that on Blue Phi uh, so absolutely that's going to be a good thing so make sure we gonna make sure we that's going to be a good all right, thing that's let's, all let's keep going up there. You know what? I, you know one of the things I like about Jayhawk. I love those Jayhawk colors, man. You know, different. You know, typical high schools got the red, black, but Jayhawk. That 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 yellow and red is hot, man. It pops. <laughs> you know, since the referendum passed, um, we're we're gonna start using a lot more of this wall space. You know, um, gonna get a good painting in here. Uh, um, we have actually our art department that we just came from. Um, People in the community are paying them to do murals for them. Wow. So wow. we need to do murals here at Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we're on the third floor. We're on the third floor. We're going to step into Mr. Demke's classroom. Uh, Mr. Demke came to us this year, um, but this is an anatomy physiology class. Wow. That's, that sounds heavy, man. Anatomy physiology. Ooh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're in a real class, anatomy, physiology. In reference to the body. Body. Here we are. We were in a we were in this classroom earlier, and, and uh, one of the things we, we we stepped out because we don't like to disrupt the learning environment. But you look like you were really, uh, really uh, interacting with your students and uh, teaching something very well. Uh, that was going on some good educational learning stuff going on. So, how you doing, sir? Not too bad. And, and so, and tell the people who are you? Scott Dimke. Scott Dimke. Scott, what do you teach here at uh, Jefferson? I teach uh, anatomy and physiology, uh, earth science AOM, and earth science geology. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of stuff. So, you know, when you, when you were in here earlier, you know, talking about bone, you know, the anatomy, um, what, what was going on there? Uh, it's a lab practicum. Uh, basically, it's a quiz over the students learning different parts of the body, different bones of the body, and being able to identify them um, 
just looking at his skeleton. So what, what type of um, career, uh, what, what, could, what could a student do with this type of background, this type of education? Uh, any type of medical careers, nursing, chiropractor, doctors, um, nurse practitioners, um, dentist. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long have you, you been teaching? This is only my second year. Second year. Yes. What, what, are you, what are you seeing in the, in the students here, that, uh, here at Jefferson? Um, it's a very diverse group of students uh, from what I'm seeing. Um, but for the majority, they are very willing to interact. Um, a lot of them are happy to be here, and it's actually fun with them in class. So what, 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 what inspired you to get into teaching? What, what, where did you first get that, that, that desire? Um, I kind of did it my whole life in their various aspects. Um, and when corporate America wasn't all fun and games that I thought it was going to be, um, I wanted to do something where I knew I would have fun. Um, interact with uh, with people, with students, uh, try and be able to help a little bit, you know, give back, um, and this is perfect perfect fit. So, you know, one of the things we talk about when we talk about education, uh, leadership, building climate, um, you know, every a, a lot of people have uh, been giving Mr. Rondo his kudos. What is it about a leader in, in like a, in, in administration uh, that helps you do your job better? Uh, their their willingness to give you feedback, their willingness to um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but it's okay. Their willingness to uh, lend you their expertise. You know, he's got a lot more experience than I do in this sort of stuff. So, me being able to go to Mr. Rundle or any of the administrators or just fellow teachers and saying, "I'm stuck on this. Being a new teacher, what can what can you suggest to me? How can you help?" Um, and just, just their willingness, openness, and availability to everyone. Thank you for your time, sir. I see the students are coming in. Right. You do a great job. Appreciate you. you. Keep up the good work. You do a great job. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank All right. Thank you. All right. What's, what's your name? Jerry Mays. Jerry Mays. Jerry Mays. So you know, I, I, I hate to make assumptions, or, or uh, but you look like a baller, man. You know what I'm saying? You kind of kind of a tall guy. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I used to hoop too. You know what I'm saying? I think I could post you up. But yeah. <laughs> so um, what you got? Big game tonight. Uh, yeah, it, it is a pretty big game. You know, we, we've been kind of slow in our other games. I mean, we haven't won a conference game yet, so this is probably the biggest game right now for us. We just got to get a win tonight. So uh, what position do you play? Uh, I play in the thing from the three to the five. Okay. So tell me some, some, something you like about, about being a Jayhawk, man. Tell me, tell me something about Jefferson that you, that you think is hot and cool. Hey, was, I think it was just the coolest school around, you know? Yeah. I mean... I just love that. I just love the environment here. You know, the people I interact with and the people I've been going to school with for since I started my freshman year. You know, it's just pretty cool. I like being around these people and the staff too. So. Great job. I'm a senior. Senior. So, what you got plans? What do you want to do when you're done? I definitely want to go to college. I mean, immediately. I don't want to take a year off because you know, you take a year off, you might get comfortable. So, yeah, I want to go straight to college. Hey man, thanks for talking to us, man. Hey, good luck to us. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a win, baby. Let's go. All right, let's do it. All right. We've just come through the locked double doors. This is the freshman area. We have two locked double doors on each side. Um, most of the freshmen actually right now are in PE. Um, and then there's some playing, but we do have some classes that, uh, freshman classes that are working right now. So we're going to take you to one. It's Miss Lewis's English class. It's just right down here, down the hall. Okay. So tell me, tell me about this. So I noticed you, um, you know, we left this hallway here, but in order to come over to the freshman side, it looks like you had actually had to have a key yeah, we, to get over here. Is that, is that purpose? Are you trying to separate? Yeah, the yeah. We, uh, you know, we keep them in a, in a, in a I don't want to say a locked area, cause, but, but we, we do separate them. Um, and uh, we run teams here. So it's kind of like the middle school philosophy here by the teaming the kids. Um, but we do this, we shut the door. Um, the, these, this is really the beginning of the academies now. Um, so they team together, they have PE together. Only the first hour is only freshman PE. And that incorporates uh, obviously a number of physical things. But then what that does up here is lets most of the team members meet first hour so they have a common planning period so on Tuesdays and Wednesdays we do our freshman team planning and then on um, Thursdays we do PLC's wow that's outstanding so is, is that is that new if, I mean is that uh, it is new it is new for this year and, and it was a little bit of a, a scheduling nightmare but but we got it, it it's really working um, they're able to talk if 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 I have a student in my class who isn't doing very well but is doing great in your class I now have scheduled time to talk to you and say okay what are you doing what do I need to do to catch this kid or or, or grab onto him and, 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 and let him embrace the learning in my class so um, it's it's really working out for us very well so you know what I have to I have to I, I'm sorry but I have to elaborate on this because this, this is good stuff you know it's for, for our viewers and people who who are who watch our show so this this is live 
live and in action, you see something that's very brand new. It's uh, teachers uh, working together, talking about students. It's administrators. Uh, it, it's, it's a philosophy. It's something that has come down. And uh, it's working, and that's good to know. All right. All right. We got students, folks. Hello. Good morning. How you guys doing? Hello. How are you? <laughs> Freshman, yes. Right. Little shy, little shy. Uh, so I just wanted to just to just talk, just elaborate on that because I think that's really, really cool. Speaking of which, man, I would just talk about the ref the, the 21st mm -hmm. century exactly. schools. Man, we need to hurry up and get uh, oh, get going ago, in. And I might have put this duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is good. You know what? I, I just uh, when you, when we talk about learning about you, I guess. I guess it's uh, it's good because uh, this is something new, you know, kind of separating the classes. So, so this is a freshman English class, uh, Miss Lewis. Um, like I said before, we usually don't have any freshman classes, but uh, with the number of freshmen, we have 500 freshmen, um, we couldn't have them all in PE at one time with numbers and stuff. So we have a couple classes here. Um, so actually, this class, and we have one other class who actually have the full run, run of the gym eighth hour because they have PE and there's nobody else in there, so they're able to do whatever they want. So we're gonna go ahead. Right, let's check check this is Miss Lewis. Is Ms. Lewis. Okay. So, not only. Hi, Miss Lewis. How are you? We're. we're <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. We just, uh, you know, we do a show called Learning About You, and uh, we we play it on the on the TV show everybody but we like to show people all the wonderful students and teachers that we have in our district and just kind of catch you live and in action so please continue you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a seat all right well welcome all right welcome how y'all doing okay so back to number three so they suggest having Salvador go to Captain Ortega's boat correct and ask if Salvador can take Hernando's job now why do they think this will work Good, okay? Captain Ortega, what they're hoping is that Captain Ortega will feel pity on their family since their father has died on their boat, okay? So they're hoping that Captain Ortega will feel guilty and give Salvador the job, okay? Now, that takes us into question number four, where it says, explain the conflict Salvador has that makes him believe the solution won't work, okay? Why won't this work? Ortega does not like Salvador and he will feed Ortega. Okay, so Captain Ortega does not like Salvador. Why not? Somebody else. Cherish? Yes, okay. Salvador is secretly in love with Dorotea, who is Captain Ortega's daughter. And Captain Ortega is not having any of this, okay? He does not like that at all, all right? So Salvador knows that this will not work. Captain Ortega will not get him a job, okay? Who does he go to see? Captain Ortega, before he goes to see Captain Ortega. Is that it? Let me say it. Paco, who is Paco? Captain Ortega's son, okay? So he's hoping to go to Paco to get some advice on what he should do, correct? All right, what does Paco suggest? What arrangements do they make? Look in your book. So while they're looking. Miss hmm? Lewis, may I ask you a question? Sure. So how are you doing, by the way? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So what, what, are, the, what, are, the, what are we talking about today? What is this? Uh, we have actually started reading Lupita Mignana. Um, and the students right now, we're on the Chapter 2 reading guide. Uh, they turned it in. We're kind of going over it to make sure that they fully understand the book before we move on to the next chapters. So what is it about English that you like and, uh, to teach? What is it about uh, teaching that uh, uh, you like on your job? Um, well, English has always been my passion in school. It's what I always enjoyed. So I'm hoping that I can pass that passion on to these kids in class. That's awesome. I certainly feel your passion. I can tell you're getting to you like what you do. Um, we, sorry, we don't want to interrupt your class. for guilty. So I think we have someone, a young man who wants to talk to us. How you doing? What's going on, man? I'm all right. What's your name? Keyshawn. Keyshawn. So Keyshawn, um, what, what grade are you in? Ninth. Ninth grade. So what do you, you, you like your, you like Jefferson? Yeah, it's cool. It's a pretty good school. 
Still. So tell me, tell me something you like about Jefferson. Um, what I like about Jefferson, um, the teachers, you know, they calm, you know, Mr. Rundu, <laughs> shout out to you, you know. <laughs> so, um, tell us a little about the, about this class here. Um, you know, I kind of, I was getting into it. I, I like the kind of the reading comprehension piece where you got to read and ask questions. Um, how do you, how do, what do you like about this class? Um, it's a good class, you know, with everybody, you know, we calm everybody in here cool, you know. And why is, why is, it, why is English, in, why is English important? Because, um, you know, you have to understand English and life. You know, you need that in, in a point of your future, you know. You know what? Thanks for taking time to talk with us, man. Anybody else, you know, you know, any, who, else, who else in here can we talk to? You think, point, give us somebody else to talk to. Jay. You good? Jay don't want to talk? Why is that good? All right, that's cool. You know, that's all right. I appreciate you taking the time. We don't want to take up too much of your class time. You guys are doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Thank you for taking the time. All right. Where? Ah, uh, the, the guy that was answering all the questions. Ah, how you doing, sir? Good. How you doing? What's your name? Austin. Austin. So you are you the class president? Yeah. What made you want to strive for that? Um, I wanted to raise money and help the school. In, in what way? How do you want to help the school? Mm, make fundraisers and fix stuff up. Just make it better for kids that are coming in next year. You know what, for a high school guy, you know what, you dress like the president, man. You fly. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel the our guy with the red tie. That's hot, man. So, uh, what, what's how you, how do you, you, what do you like about um, this? This seems like this is a really good teacher. Um, what do you like about school, man? Why, you know, why is that important? Um, cause then you get to unlock more doors to your future, and then if you do good in school, you can do more stuff in the future. Outstanding. You know what? Thanks for talking to us, Mr. President. All right, keep it going. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Have a great day. All right. Bye. <laughs> See you. <laughs> so, Tina Lamb, you know what? I, Tina, you know what? I like talking to people. You know, I've seen her, and every time I see her, she's always smiling. I like talking to happy people. You know what, Mr. Rundle? Go ahead, take this one All away. Right, well, you, so, no, you go ahead and talk to Tina. Okay, okay. Hi, Tina. Hi, Mr. Dodson. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Very well. So, what are you doing now? You're in the hallway. What's going on here today? I have grades to hang on my data wall. Right. So, you're, what do you do here? I teach freshman seminar. Freshman seminar. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> freshman. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, freshman seminar is our foundation class for our students to be able to choose their academy. Um, we focus on three questions: Who am I? What do I want? And how do I get it? So it's a semester-long class that's preparing our freshmen. So is that something that's is new? Brand new. How's so? How's it going? What do you what do you what are you seeing so far? How's that going? It's great. It's uh, I think an eye opener for a lot of our students, for sure. So, so this is talking about kind of getting them prepared, you know, thinking about, you know, what, what do I want to be later on in life? And so you're starting to, you're starting to see your ideas developing. Mm -hmm. And changes happening, changing their minds quite frequently, but that's okay. That's a good thing. Yes. So you, 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 you excited about it? I am. Very. very. You know what? We're going to look at that. I think Mr. Ron's going to take us to check some of that stuff out later. Um, I'm excited to go see some of that too. I think it's good for high schools. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get the academy feel. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this you know stuff. what? This is this. Uh, you know, I I don't know if, if, if you heard me say that, but you know, those you know the, the academies are, are a big deal that are coming to our high schools, and uh, I, I was very grateful for the opportunity to go to Nashville and see how it's done there in some of those high schools. And you know what? I'm starting to get that academy feel around here at Jefferson, man. You know, it's just I see the banners. You know, the way things are going. You know, I kind of I feel it, Don. Tell me, tell me, what, what do you think? Well, it, it's exciting. Um, you know, we, we were approached last year um, about piloting the program. And, and I tell people I was the biggest skeptic. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. But the more I learned about it, and I also went to Nashville a year ago, and uh, I was hooked. It was for us here. And um, <clears throat> what I'm excited about is, you know, unfortunately, all kids don't go to college. And, and that's okay. That's their choice. Um, but we need to make sure, A, they're prepared <clears throat> for a career. And, you know, the biggest thing that I think... I got out of Nashville is is when we we listened to all the presentations and then we just had some time to walk the school and and Mr. LaRosa and I, my assistant principal, we looked for Jefferson kids, so to speak, and just grabbed them and said, Hey, tell me about the academy. And I mean we got we got various answers from, well, I'm in an academy, I now I know what I don't want to do. And we never thought about that. You know, so it you know 
I was gonna, they were telling us, I was gonna go to school to do this. Now I, I, I've, I've been there, I've done some internships, I don't wanna do that. So they actually saved money. And I don't think anybody was thinking of that part. So, um, you know, is it hard to ask a 14, 15 year old kid, what am I gonna do when you grow up? Because I, I, when I was an adult, I think I changed three <laughs> or four times. But, um, you know, it's to getting them, getting them thinking. And, and exposing them to different careers so they can think, mm, I do like that or I don't like that. You know what I'm so excited about? This is I think it's uh, yeah, one of the best things that, uh, uh, one of our best initiatives that we got going. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. So, so when we were in your office earlier today, you said that you know, the day kind of starts out. As soon as you get out of the atmosphere, you can tell the feel for the kids oh, yeah. and what's going on, what kind yeah. of day. What, what, what's today feel like? Uh, it feels like a good day. Yeah, it does. yeah. The, the excitement, the, the, the talking. We got a basketball game tonight. Ah. Um, so, uh, you know, we got Belvedere North. All right. Go Jayhawks. We, we, we got to get out of this Ofer. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Go Jefferson. All right. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and travel down to the second floor, and then uh, we got about 15 minutes before the bell rings, and the right. halls are... And I think, uh, you know, the, the one that you, we, we've done art class, we've done, and I think we're going to uh, that be good academy, the academy stuff. Is That'll it? be second hour, 920, that'll start. Okay. So we'll take you up back up here. Okay, cool. Um, All right. Awesome. Let's check. Oh, more. Look at that. Look at that. Jefferson, boy. Okay, so I just quick grabbed Stephanie because I wanted to show. We kind of talked about um, parents had to come back in and um, talk to a, an administrator before they could be readmitted. And then what we do is we give them a pass, and it says that we talked about academics, attendance, behavior, tutoring. Um, the student signs that mom and dad were here. And this is her readmittance form to get back into class. So, readmits for me to get back in the class. Wow, you heard it here first. Check that out, live and direct, live action. All right, parents talking to administrators, working with the teachers uh, to make sure that students are doing what they're supposed to be doing and doing the right thing. Uh, and that's a, that's a good thing. Definitely. Thanks Definitely. for sharing that. All Thanks right. for sharing. All right. Hey, you know what, man? Earlier when we were down there, we were down, I don't know what, first floor, first second floor. floor. Uh, I think that was the cafeteria. And I could have swore I smelled some tacos. Are, we, are there tacos for lunch today? There might be. You know what? Because I, I, you know what? There's something. You, you need a taco. You yeah, you know what? There's some. You know what? There's something strange about that. That, that I don't. Know, I, I admit it about me. But I love school lunches, man. You know? I don't know. It's crazy. You know? Well, you know, school lunch is a little different than it has been in the past. We're we're definitely going the healthier route now. So. Uh, oh, so instead of a taco. Like you might like it, but it'll be healthier for you now. So instead of a taco, I might get the, like some type of uh, some uh, enchilada or some, we, a fish taco. Uh, or uh, yeah, maybe a fish taco. Or, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do We're it. We're going to go in this door right here. Okay. This is our yearbook room. All right, yearbook room. All right. I, I like Check it out. no clue that we're coming. All right. So we'll step in here, and, and this is the yearbook room. All right, so the yearbook room. What's going on in the yearbook room? What, 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 who, can, who can tell us what goes on in the yearbook room? Hi, how are you? Ah, the teacher. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, Mr. Dotson, uh, we do a show learning about you. Well, we just go around and show the community, the public, all the cool stuff that goes on in our schools. So, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? All right, and what's your name? I'm Allison Utech. Allison Utech. So, how long have you been doing what you do? This is my first year teaching, actually. First year teaching. All right, first year teacher. <laughs> Woo! All right, so tell us a little bit about this class and what's going on in here. Well, we're the publications department. We're currently working on the yearbook in this hour, but we also do the newspaper for the school, and we also prepare students to take both newspaper and yearbook. So, we're a busy class. Really? So, um, what, what is it about this um, in your, your background? What do you like about this, this teaching this class? Uh, journalism has always been really close to my heart. I did it in high school and I did it in college as well. And uh, so I thought I would share my passion with, with my students. So, right. really so, so can you show, is there something cool going on? I mean, they're doing something right now that we can, we, we can see, we can look at? Well, I'm actually, they're working on pages if you want. This is one of my editors, Hannah. And, uh, All right. All right, class. Hannah. Hannah's working on Hi, how you doing, Hannah? What's Hi. What, what do you tell us? Tell us what you're doing right here. Right now, I'm working on the yearbook page or the volleyball page for the yearbook, and she's working on the, or the yearbook page. And, and who are you? Who might you be? Megan Musilo. <laughs> Megan. Yeah. How you doing, Megan? Nice to meet you. So, what do you like about? Tell me something you like about this class, Hannah. Um, <laughs> um, I like that you can make something that's everyone's gonna see and everyone's gonna remember for years that's a great that's cool so is there anything that you've been doing so far before the yearbook comes out that you think is going to be really cool that people are going to really think is cool when they see it <laughs> i'm sorry um i don't know <laughs> 
Thanks for talking to us. I appreciate it. All right. Let's go see what else we can see. What's going on? Uh-oh. Hello. How y'all doing? Hello. What's going on? So anything anything interesting going on here with you guys today? What's your name? Unfortunately, not for me. I, my page is done. I'm waiting for a new one. Waiting for a new page? Okay. So, so what, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. junior. What's your name? Quartarius. Quartarius. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me a little something you like about Jefferson Quartarius. Um, the teachers care about the students. I can say... Uh, I don't know. I just like this school better than every school. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> we, got any, we got any sports fans? Are you going to the game tonight? Nah. nah you're not going to the game. <laughs> you're not going to the game. Uh, He's a rapper. He's a rapper. Cortez, yeah, you're a rapper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you're a rapper, that means that means like you know you can you can freestyle a little time, a little anywhere, a little something. I got a lot of verses. You got a lot of verses. Can you give it? Can you give us? Can you give us like a, a you know a rated G version or something? Just yeah, real, just real flight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cortez, spit. Go ahead. Spit <laughs> some, baby. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear it. Let me hear you. Music is my drug, I would never pull the plug I can feel it in my veins, I'm loving it, now I'm stuck Haters rain down, I promise I won't rust I've been dreaming so long, my eyes are turning to dust And uh. I'm just doing me, come and take a look and see Doing it all with just one hand and I ain't talking amputees Feel the beat, the bass, the rhythm uh. all over me like it's fleas But I'm loving this breeze, I call it a love treat Yeah, yeah. that was hot! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right, yeah! <laughs> all right! All right, see, you never know what you can get. So we got that talent. All right. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. What you guys doing in here? All right. Let's keep it moving. Let's, let's keep it moving. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Right, let's get some names here. Hi, you are? Gorema. Gorema. And you are? Stephanie. Stephanie. Who is this? Who is this? Uh, Laura. Laura? And you are? Oh my God. Delio. <laughs> Delio. Delio. You know, let's talk to Delio <laughs> since she seemed the happiest to talk to us. Ah. Delio. What's going on? How you doing today? Good. What are you doing right here? What are you doing on uh, the computer here? Looking at people's pages. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are, you, uh, are you in this class? What's, what's, why are you guys back here? Because we don't like them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, uh, I, don't, I don't know because I like it better out here. I can work without it being so loud. Okay. Okay. So, what, what, what year are you here, Jefferson? I'm um, a junior. So, tell me something. Just tell me one thing you really you've liked your time that you've been here, at Jefferson. Uh, Mr. Rondo. All right. <laughs> All right. Who else can we get? Who else can we get down here? Excuse me. Maybe get through here. Okay. Who else seems shy? Okay. Let's talk to you. So, what? Uh, what year? What, what year are you here? Uh, junior. Junior. So, just tell me some about school. I mean, you're you're in high school. It goes fast. Uh, what, are you, what are you experiencing here at high school, Jefferson? That you that you think is cool? That you like? Yearbook. Coming into yearbook, trying something different. Really? So, do you have a favorite class? What's your favorite class? I guess this one. Really? Yeah. Outstanding. And just tell me one more thing. What one more thing you really like about? doing what you do because you know we're in kind of communications and you know we kind of do uh, a lot of this stuff as well in, in at the district so um, is there any, one thing in particular that you think that you like uh, about this class or what you're doing uh, what excites you about it what do you like talking to different people talking to different people cool well thank you thank you for talking to us appreciate it all right bye, bye. <laughs> All right, so you know what, Mr. Reno, I can't tell you how how <laughs> often awesome this has been, man. First high school that we've done on learning about you, you man, you've set the bar high. Well, I, I hope we try to. Right. We try to. And show, show what we know, huh? Show show what we know. That's what we do. Show so we we're about to go into a class here, uh, and tell us tell us a little bit about where we're, where we're headed. Well, we have we have the largest uh, LIMI um, population in the schools. In the I'm high sorry. School. So tell us uh, LIMI. Tell us what that is. Uh, Learning impaired, mentally impaired. Okay. Um, we have five classrooms, um, and and they're one hundred percent part of Jefferson High School. And uh, you know, I tell people, um, you know, the new people that come here, um, it, it's an unsaid rule that you don't mess with any of these kids. And and our general population will defend them to the hilt. And it's great to see. Um, we also have we turn students away who uh, we had a modified piece. So we need PE helpers in there. We have to turn kids away. 
which is outstanding. And uh, when I say they're, they're 100% part of the Jefferson community, truly 100% part of the community. Um, they come to the basketball games, they, the, the pep assembly, they just show out. It's great. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's wonderful to watch. You know, you, you got kids who, you know, tend to be in trouble a lot. Some, unfortunately, some with the law come in here and melt. And, and we'll, like I said, treat them like they're their, their little brother or little sister and we'll defend them to the hilt. And it, it's just great to see. And, uh, you know, it, it proves that I don't care where you come from, how tough you think you are, uh, everyone has a heart and it shows in this classroom. Let's go check it out, man. All right. Hello there. How y'all doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? So we do a show called Learning About You, and we just kind of show the community and everyone all the wonderful teachers and our wonderful students. So how you all doing? Good. Good, good. So can I, can I talk to some people here? How you doing? Sure. I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm going to sit down here with you. So I'm going to pass the mic around. How about that? All right, I'm gonna start with you. Just tell us, tell us a little bit who you are and what's going on. Okay. My name is Miss Dame, and I am the teacher. My name is Kenny. I'm the student. My name's Sapphire. My name is Kifo. My name is Miss Demaria. I'm a para. My name is. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley. So Mr. Ronda was telling us that you all are 100% are part of the Jefferson family. Tell me something about what do you like about Jefferson here? What, anybody, what do you like about being a student here? Sing. Sing. So, sing, that's cool. So you guys, anybody go to the sports games? Anybody go to the, you go to the games? All right. You wrestle? All right, Kiefer's part of the wrestling team. What do you like about wrestling, Kiefer? I don't know. You don't know? So do you go, you go watch the matches? Yes. Yes. So do you actually, you, co you actually coach, you, co you help coach with the wrestlers? Yes. That's, that's important, Kiefer. I think that's a good thing. So you got friends on the wrestling team? Yes, I do. Yes. They, they, they appreciate, I'm sure they appreciate you being there helping them. How are they doing this year? It's good. They're doing good? All right, Kiefer, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Cody, where's Cody? Cody's right here. All right. Yeah. All right, Mr. Rundle, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass the microphone to Mr. Rundle, who's going who's to conduct this interview with Cody. So, Cody, let's talk. How long have I known you? How long? <laughs> About seven years, huh? Were we at Flynn together? Yep, we sure were. And then we came to Jefferson together, didn't we? The same year. Mm -hmm. So, Cody's been here a while. Right. And uh, I've known him since he was a little boy. And uh, they're doing a great job. They're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. We really, really, really appreciate you all letting us come in. Uh, no sure. problem. Because learning about you is about everyone. And um, we get really, really excited. And we're very grateful that we get to show our community our great teachers, paras, students, administrators. And uh, we really, really appreciate it. You all have a wonderful day. Yeah, Go ahead. Cool. Man, this, has been, this has been cool. Oh, it's great. We love to show off what we do. <laughs> show what we know. That's what we say. Show what we know. So we know. This has been exciting. A lot, a lot of wonderful students, wonderful teachers, wonderful people. So tell us a little bit about where we're headed next. Uh, we're in Miss Lamb's. going to go into Miss Lamb's class. This is um, our freshman survey class. This is a class that every freshman has to take. It's mandatory here at Jefferson. Um, it is our academy class. Um, and this prepares them for, the, uh, for them to make a decision on what academy they want to want to sign up for. Um, that, that decision is coming at the beginning of January. So uh, it, it's a very important decision. They've been working all semester, um, and uh, you'll see we, we've got some extra equipment. We have um, a laptop cart just for the academy. We have an academy class here, and then we're just one across the hall. So we have two academy classes that run at all times. Um, but uh, it, it, it's really something that um, is helping the kids really decide, you know, what career they want to do. Um, they do a five and a ten year plan. Um, it's kind of neat to look at the plans and say, uh, you know, kid, ask a 14-year-old kid what he's going to be doing in 10 years. And, uh, you know, we're going to add on to this um, and do what we call a reality store. Um, and that is, well, they'll, they'll get a certain assignment, assigned a career. That's how much money you make. Now, 
You have a family of four. What, what are you going to do with that money? You got to buy a house. You got to get a car. Um, it's neat to watch because some kids go straight. Oh, I'm getting a, a Lamborghini, even though I have seven kids. And uh, but then all their money's gone. And uh, so and, and it's just it's like real good, life. Right. It's good early life lesson. You know, one of the other things I think is significant is I'm standing here talking to you. I'm looking and I see the signs that say class of 2016. And I see it here as well. Class of 2016. It's on the door class of 2016 you know one of the things about the this this group is they're going to be the ones that you're, you know we're going to be able to collect data data on uh, later on and say how did this actually work so these are kind of like the first groundbreaking freshmen going through the academy process uh, and the ones that we're going to see later on how it turned out and be able to talk to them and say hey what what, what was that like right all right let's check it out we're in Right. Her? <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Uh, so we are in uh, Mrs. Lamb's class. This is um, what Mr. Rum was just describing, and you know we're, we're 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 with students who are working and studying on what they want to do when they grow up. So we, I think we spoke with Mrs. Lamb earlier, and we told her we'd come back and check her class out, but. Let's see if we can see if anybody who has an idea of what they want to be when they grow up. Anybody? You know what? This dude right here over here was head. I think, yeah, I saw you. Yeah, because I, I think I know him. I've seen him before. How you doing, man? <laughs> What's going on? What's your name? So t tell me a little bit. What you, I see you loading up your computer. Just tell me a little bit about this class. What, what are you doing here? I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Older. I noticed you got your hand on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to hide from the camera? Yeah. Why, are you shy? I don't like being in the camera. Being in the camera? <laughs> Trey is not shy. So, Trey, you, you just said, you know, something what you want to do with your life. Yeah, there it is. There's the camera. So, Trey, um, any ideas of what you want to do when you when you grow up, man? Got, got a couple ideas. Um, one of my first choices is probably go to the NBA, and if that doesn't work out, it's probably be a firefighter. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna say go pursue that second option. You know what I'm saying? That, that NBA, you, you you could do it. You know, it's, it's a long shot, but uh, the, the chances of a fire. We need we need good firefighters. Uh, you know, stand up. Let me see how tall you are, man. Let me see. Let me see if you got a hooper statue. Okay, all right, all right. So you got a little game, huh? You got a little game. All right, man, I'm going to leave you alone. Thanks for talking. Hey, Jayhawk Pride, though. I'm feeling that. Represent. All right. All right, who else? Who else? Miss Lamb, who else? Who else knows what they want to be when they grow up? Ah, so, all right, since you pointed. All right. <laughs> oh, look. Hey Vince, check this out. Somebody, our website. You know what? We're actually we're in the process of changing our website, so we're gonna need some input on how to make it really, really cool. So, what's your name? Jessica. How you doing today, Jessica? Good. So, how long is you? So, do you, have you been in this class since uh, the beginning of the school year? Yes. So, this is brand new stuff. This is some. This is these are things that have not happened in the school district before. Um, what do you? How do you? What do you think about this class? I like it. It's like the best class so it is really that's good to hear so tell me why um because she's like one of my favorite teachers she explains things well and she like tells us clearly what to do you know what miss lamb she is cool where is she she is cool she is cool <laughs> she is pretty cool so um you're you're talking about a career what if, give me a couple ideas of some things that really excite you about you could possibly do in the future i want to be a pediatrician that is outstanding. Pediatrician. Why pediatrician? Because, like, I wanted to be, first I wanted to be a nurse, but I wanted to, like, go more, and I know more about pediatrician than a nurse, so. I see. So, you know, that's, um, you, you, you have, if people told you the, the education and the schooling that you got to do to, you know, to go down that track, uh, sounds like you ready to put in that hard work. So you're thinking about uh, some colleges uh, and some things. Is I know you got to do high school, but some good colleges where you could really excel at that. Yeah, I don't know which one I want to go to yet. You know what? Thanks for talking to us. You know what? What, what else is, is you? Are you a freshman? Yes. What else is cool about Jefferson? Um, 
Well, I like the sports they have and the things they like. Like, I'm in drama class here, and I like like the classes they have here. Outstanding. You got any good, you got any good, really good friends in here? Her. That's one of your good friends. Yeah, what's her name? Katie. Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> How you doing? Katie, so we're just one more person. Tell just tell us a little about Katie. You know, because I really, 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 what I think this is, I, I we're, we're excited about, is the whole academy approach. So I think Mr. Rondo told us that you all have to kind of have an idea of what you want to, the, the track you want to pursue. When, when, when do you have to know that? By the end of the semester. By the end of the semester. So you got a few ideas of what you want to do. I want to be a registered nurse. Nice. Registered nurses are in demand and they make really good money. Um, so what is it about being a nurse that something, why is that something you want to do? I want to help people and I like, I'm not scared of like the blood or anything, so. You know what? I, God, God bless you. I'm scared of the blood. I can't even go get blood drawn. I mean, it's like I'm almost going to faint. So you're not, that. so that's good. See, we need people. We need people like this who care about people and who are not afraid of blood. That's awesome. You know what? And, and she says she wants to help people. So that, that is outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, find Rockford Public School students right here. Find teacher. There she is over there, Miss Lamb. And this is what it's all about. Thank you all very, very much. I'm excited about the future of our schools based on the students that I get to meet and interact with. Thank you all very much. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm in the principal's office. But I promise, I didn't do anything wrong. I just happened to be here hanging out with some really, really good people. Over here, I have the principal, Don Rundle, our guy. And here we have the twins. Now, you know what's interesting about the twins is as, as I was talking to the principal, he was telling me who they were, who their, her mom was, and I've come to find out. I know who their mom is. Let me in here. Let me in here. How you guys doing, man? What's up? I'm doing good. What's your name? What's your name? Kim and Box. Kim and Box. And you are? Keon Box. Keon Box. So you guys go to Jefferson. What, what, what are you? Seniors, juniors? Seniors. 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 So what's it been like here at Jefferson? Man, tell me a little bit about, have you been here since your whole, your whole time? Uh, it's a, what's your name again? Keeman. Keeman. Keeman, tell me a little bit about your time here at Jefferson. When I first came, I was a little shy, but then when I started to meet people, I started getting like known in Jefferson. Yeah. And uh, you, again? Keon. 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 Keon, tell me a little bit about your experience at Jefferson since you've been here. Well, when I came to Jefferson, I saw that, I, like my brother, I saw I was shy at first. Then I met Mr. Rando, and I found out that I can, if I had any problem, I could go to him, and I started getting, feeling like I was at home. Isn't that, wow, Mr. Rando, wow. So, yeah, tell me, do like, you guys, I mean, people say stuff at you at school. Tell me one of the things that people say about twins, jokes. What do you, because some of the stuff you heard about, you know, I'm sure you get that a lot. So what, what do people say when they see you guys together? They say, like, like he, my brother can walk past, and, like, I might walk past two minutes later, and they be like, whoa, I just saw you walk down the hallway. <laughs> what about you, Kai? Anything, man? You know, you heard, you heard something. What do people, what do they say? I'm seeing double. <laughs> I'm seeing double. Cool. Well, they're, they're known as the twins. <laughs> That's how they're known around here. They're, oh, here's the twins. I ask them to come to the office once a week so I can walk in between them, so I'm the small one. <laughs> awesome. Hey. Guys, good luck to you. Congratulations. Senior year. Have a good year. Thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. Pleasure meeting you. Hey, and don't forget, I was telling you, Shelly Box, your mom, right? It's your mother. Grew up with her. I, I'm, I may be dating myself, but I mean, I knew her, the, the family, her sisters. We all kind of grew up together. Went to, I think, I want to say Little People's Place, grade school together. So uh, this is going to be cool. Mom, I hope she's uh, doing well. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Pleasure. All right, guys. All right. So, I, you know what? I've been talking all day about school cafeteria lunches and how I love them. You know, I've always, I've just, as when I came with school in, in Rockford, I've always loved school lunches. So I, I've been telling all, people all day, I smell something uh, Latin, so I smell tacos or something. So what, what are we having? Hi, who are you, by the way? What's Hi, your... I'm Fran Bartell, and I'm at Jefferson School, high school. Uh, this is our cafeteria. We have 13 great workers. Uh, today they're having chicken quesadillas, is that it? I was right, I knew it. Chicken I knew it. And, and uh, we're getting our fruits and vegetables ready for the students. I'm making homemade cinnamon rolls that we sell to our students.
So uh, they've got a lot of good choices. Uh, we have a pizza line. We have chef salads. We have um, pasta salads. Yummy, lots of yummy stuff. So, Fran, tell me, so you, what is it about you, you why you like, you do, you do what you do? Why, what do you like about what you do? I like the kids. I love the kids. They're crazy, but I love them. I do, I do. And I've been here now, like, for 15 years. Wow. But I'm telling you what, they come through that line, they're excited. If there's something new, we like to let them try it, you know. And right now, we're going through that big change of letting them all learn and uh, know different uh, vegetables and fruit. Yeah, so, so tell me about that, friend. We talked about that a little bit earlier when I said, uh, uh, I think someone said they're chicken nachos, and you said something about getting the kids to eat healthier. So you, so you've gone, so you've gone through the transition. So, so tell me a little bit about that eating healthier part. Uh, the eating healthier is a lot of these students maybe are not getting these certain vegetables and fruits and and stuff at home. So we're trying to gradually ease them in. And they'll be able to learn a lot of them. Even high school kids, there's a lot of things they don't know on the fruits and vegetables. So it's, uh, it's all try. you got to try it. And we try to explain to them, you know, and it works out pretty good. A lot of them like it, some don't. But Fran, you know. I think you're amazing, Fran. I, you know, <laughs> I actually do. I would love to just either work here, Fran, with you, oh, you or, come, or come through your life. Or we're dancing. That's when you got to be here. <laughs> or come to your line. I would love it, friend. I, do. I work with a lot of the special needs children, and I got to tell you, they're the best to work with. They appreciate you so much. It makes you, when you go home, your day is wonderful. You are amazing, friend. See, this is what learning about you is all about. We have great principals, teachers, students, people who work in the cafeteria. It's it's everyone. It's a whole operation and everyone is important. And that's what we like to show. Everyone matters. Everyone is important. Everyone has a role to play. And we just met an outstanding individual, an outstanding person in Fran. Fran, thank you. So well, we got a great we got a great principal here. Yes. Great leader. He is a great leader. <laughs> he makes things run smooth. That's good. Thank you, Fran. All right. I think I might stick around. You know, this principal said I could have lunch, man, you know. I, but you know, knowing me, you know the way I eat, I talk a lot, uh, you know. But I, I'll probably just end up getting a salad. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Bye. So. Wow, what a day, man. I mean, we really, really had a lot of fun. Uh, met a lot of really fun, really interesting, cool people. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Mr. Well, well, thank you for coming. You know, what we, we, what we like is it's you're showcasing the kids that we see every day. You know, the kids that are in the newspaper in the district is, is a, such a small, small fraction um, of what we deal with. So they're, they're wonderful kids in 205 at every building, and I've experienced it at every building. So um, we're excited that you come out and, and do what you do and, and let us show off what we do. And uh, it was great. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it, man. So we're in the cafeteria right now. Um, you know what? I, I don't, you know, and not everyone knows this, but I'm a sucker for cafeteria school lunches, man. You, you do, you know, you know, any, you know, you know, what's anything, you know, what's on the menu today? Uh, well, I, I, there's always pizza on the menu. <laughs> there's always we, pizza. We, pizza. We pizza. <laughs> you know what? You think you think I can get a lunch? You think I can get a lunch uh, today out of well, here? Hands down. Hands down, they'll give you a lunch. They'll, they'll pile it on too. <laughs> You know what? Um, again, man, thank you very much. You've been an excellent host. Um, we're, this is our first high school. We're very excited. And uh, you got a wonderful, wonderful group here. Great teachers. you got great students. And you're a great leader, man. So keep up the good work. I'm serious. I mean that, much. man. Thank, thank you. you. All right, right. All right. All take right. care. Thank you.